Welcome back to the training group. I'm here today with client Chris Wong from the Advanced Kettlebell class. Today we're going to demonstrate uh, some issues that we've been having in our Advanced Kettlebell class all the way down to our Beginner Kettlebell class. Correct form and doing the clean. Now, a lot of people have logged on to the blog site and let me know that their forearms are hurting them from doing the kettlebells. Most of the times it comes from your form and the clean. A lot of people do their clean, they just want to get the weight up and lift it, and it starts to bounce, which can create clean. Make sure that you're cleaning with the weight that's going to give you a workout. Now, a lot of you in the classes, advanced and beginner classes, you like to grab the small kettlebells to do your clean. Well, we're going to demonstrate the difference in using a small kettlebell and a bigger kettlebell, and how much of an easier workout you can get sometimes by increasing your weight with the kettlebell. Because remember, when we use the kettlebell on the clean, it's all legs. It has nothing to do with the upper body. It's all legs. So now she's going to demonstrate a clean with the 8 kilogram kettlebell. Go ahead. Good. Notice how you see the movement in the kettlebell. Relax. Now she's going to go up. A little more st stabilization with the kettlebell now because the weight is more demanding on the hips and, and there's more of a gravitational pull. Good. Good. One more. Nice. Another yeah. issue you may have is, am I grabbing the kettlebell the correct way? Well, there's a few different ways that you can grab your kettlebell for the clean. That's perfectly fine. If you're not comfortable with a one-hand clean, you can start out with a two-hand clean. Usually with a two-hand clean, we take one hand over, one hand under. The hand that's over is the same hand that is the same side that the kettlebell is going to go onto your shoulder. So she's going to demonstrate a two-hand kettlebell clean. Nice. Good. One more. Nice. And relax. All right. Now the other way that you can also clean is you can clean single hand and bring the other hand across once you have the kettlebell up to hold it right there and bring it back into your clean. Good. Awesome. And relax. Good job. She had a little squat there. That was a nice job there, Chris. So there you have it, guys. There's several different ways on how to clean, but before you start cleaning with that kettlebell, let's make sure that we have a weight that challenges our legs so it doesn't have the opportunity to bounce here. All right? Thanks for tuning in to the Training Corner. We'll see you next time.